had our first night at the Fairy Fairfield in Marriott and it's extremely close to Disney so I'm making that walk right now. It is just before 5.30 a.m. Of course, second day of the lifted restriction so let's see how things are. I know lines were incredibly crazy yesterday but we'll see how they are today. Behind me is the Panera Bread. You just kind of walk up that way like I showed earlier and head down a harbor and we'll get to the harbor entrance in just a moment. I also do want to apologize about the shakiness. I sometimes don't have any kind of tripod or handheld and right now I'm using a Joby uh, like mobile grip so I don't have a gimbal and I try to keep the phone as straight as possible when I'm walking but it's hard when either I'm tired and I'm you know taking those crazy steps or it's hard to keep it straight. I will get a gimbal soon but just so you all know I'm not intentionally trying to be shaky. total from leaving my hotel room to getting to this harbor entrance that you see ahead of you it took less than three minutes of walking and the most waiting was at the light where I was just crossing the street and this is right before security check-in to get to the Esplanade area and I do apologize I am jumping back later in the day Panera Bread had a crazy crowd and a line as well as McDonald's next door so be prepared to wait if you come later in the day Okay, folks, we're kind of doing this room tour backwards because I it's been so busy, I completely forgot to do one on the first day and then the second day and the third day. So now upon checkout, I'm doing a little room tour. Uh, don't mind the mess. Your room is probably going to look like this, if not worse than ours. So yeah, here is the room and I'll get a POV perspective now. Hardwood floors, which again, I've mentioned in my last video, I'm not a fan of, but it was clean. There was no issue there. These blinds, when you just have these, you can actually see into the room when a light is on, um, even at night. So make sure, you know, you don't have lights on or I think there is another set of blinds. Yeah, this one will completely block out the light. And the other issue is that light stays on all night. So with me sleeping in that bed, I wasn't able to sleep with that light on, so make sure you do close that second set of blinds. I probably already showed this, but there is Disney. You get a faint look at Space Mountain over there. I am not sure what is there. There's Matterhorn over there. That is the Camelot Hotel, if I'm not mistaken. McDonald's is there. Panera Bread is there. The parking down here belongs to the hotel. That beyond the bushes and fence is McDonald's parking. And over there, there is a little stand, which you probably saw earlier. That is the check-in for parking for the Fairfield. We have a couple pieces of art. The beds are pretty comfy as always. I mentioned that Marriott is always nice with their beds and pillows. All the sheets were clean. Simple light, phone and clock setup over here. A pretty good sized TV, plenty of drawers. Good sized bathroom, the water pressure was very nice. We have some racks for towels. Bathroom and shower were clean. Plenty of spaces for towels and placing everything. I actually love having these shelves right here next to the bathroom. Plenty of hangers. You have the mini fridge here. And we weren't aware of this, but make sure that the dial is turned lower. We thought maybe turning it up to five or six would actually make it colder, but it's actually one or two because when we walked in, it was at five and nothing was getting cold. So I'm not sure why anyone would put it at five to begin with. We were using this coffee machine every morning and you can just ask for little pods from the front desk. And this is actually great. I don't see this too often anymore. It's a great stand for your luggage. So you don't have to put it on the bed. And that is about it for the room tour.